So this is the Panama team coming out onto the floor, ranked number 55 in the FIBA World Rankings. Ranked number 50 in the FIBA World Rankings, so just ahead of Panama. Forward from uh, Panama this time. Doesn't jump out as harshly, and it leaves Washman open after good feed from Fittipaldi. And post play is good, so Carter doing it at both ends of the floor. And Sanchez trying to find some room. Penetration well guarded, but off the glass is good. Uruguay, five on the clock for Fittipaldo, didn't hit the ring. He's heave, he's a long two, that is good. Continues to play his club basketball in uh, the ACB in Spain with Tenerife. And he comes once more, throws it over the top, great feed, provides the easy finish in a while. I haven't seen that one here today, good trap. And then the rotation from Sanchez to get the steal. Gaskins shoots the three and buries it. Oh, he said. As Grange and Hull loses his man, forces Lindo to stumble, but more importantly, makes the jumper. As Granger losing his man. To the feet of Fittipaldo, is picked up by Granger. Still has 10 seconds left on the clock, though. Pick and pop. Iglesias knocks it down. It's into the screen. And Granger makes the pick and pop for the Baldo. Foot race getting to the basket. Oh, just drops it over the shoulder for the easy finish. Well, a plate for his teammate. Great work from him. Sedes with the finish. Has the mismatch, the switch on with Lindo guarding him. Now Romero challenges the shot, but it's not enough to slow down a man like Jason Granger. Made one earlier, oh, on that occasion, here comes Granger again. Finds an open fit of powder, not sure you can leave that man with that much space. Great basketball from Uruguay. For these teams in qualification for the America Cup 2025. Quintero, seven on the clock, fires the three, and that will end the 11-0 run for Uruguay. Has to back it out. Stop, go, step back. Granger, how smooth was that from Jason Granger? Bishop isolates on that far side, spins, got good feed, and Quintero, instant impact off the bench for Panama, back to back. You see, perfect from the field. Bumbao, through the gears, kicks it, Rodriguez. And he just missed one, he's not gonna miss an open look like that, Joaquin Rodriguez. And it's a five point game here. Rodriguez trying to find some room, nice pass and the opening along the baseline. No way of stopping this onslaught offensively from the Uruguayan team. Great passing. Cuts away from the ball, Rodriguez back to Fittipaldo. Fittipaldo pick and pop, finds the man. Three ball is up and nothing but stream. And then the steal from Rodriguez. Four on one for Uruguay. Can't get the finish, gonna have to earn him from the line. Rodriguez sees the lane, throws it out to Fittipaldo. What a pass for Rodriguez to find Fittipaldo. There's uh, Fittipaldo going cross court, Granger for three. Fittipaldo gets it again, and he makes another one. Timeout might be coming here for Panama. And I want this game to get away from them in the first half. How can they respond? That's uh, exactly what they need. 5 on 4 for Panama if they push the ball well here. Gaskin stops and fires a 3. Well, the decision was only a good one because he hit the bottom of the net. And in the pre-game build-up, we said that backcourt for Uruguay. Is the elevation from Romero. Where did that come from? Out of nothing, down the middle. Look at this one, lovely pass from Gaskins. Rodriguez is there. It remains as it was, 12-point game. Uruguay with possession. Nice little feed to the inside. Romero, though, fired up after the dunk. Rushman gets it in. Screens for Granger, too much time and space. Jason Granger, I mean, how can you not know where the man with the, uh, the yellow shoes is on the floor?
13 points personal now for Jason Granger. As the three in response doesn't go. Second attempt also bounces clear for Ayaza. Here is Granger again. Guarded closely by Gaskins. He tries to draw the charge, doesn't get it. Five on four, Fittipaldo makes the three and he's fouled as well. The personal just comes underneath Fittipaldo. A three is good, a free throw to come. As we'll hit one minute to go. In the first half on this offense, Gaskins, three is good. Handling the ball, finds some room, takes a three, doesn't get it. Fittipaldo feeling hot, takes the dribble and why not? Well, the rebound bounced to him. You can see he'll stack Spain for the powder. We'll give it to Rojas, time and space. He knocks it down. It brings up the 60-point mark for Uruguay. What a first half for them. What an offensive performance. Romero now hands it off. Sanchez to Rodriguez. He fires it up and continues the hot shooting from that first half. That's why he's been inserted into the lineup. Romero, remember, got three fouls. Fittipaldo gives it to Washman. And the big man unable to finish. Bishop to Gaskins. Three ball for him is good. And it is Rodriguez getting to the inside. Romero following up. That's why he is so important to this team. And what a start for Panama. Burned by Uruguay. Okay, good work. Fittipaldo trying to use the screen, switching defense from Panama. But great into passing from Uruguay. It is set us on the finish. Moves it on, and here comes Gaskins. Gaskins wants this high screen. Crosses over, gets into the lane, loses it, regains it, and scores. Gaskins going straight at Iglesias. Point to prove after the previous foul. Great work from Gaskins to regain it once it had been knocked from his hands. And he is straight into the action. And it's been quite offensively Bruno Fittipaldo. Still making things happen. There he is. Finding the short roll and again. Just great basketball from Uruguay. There's the play we were talking about. Sedes with the finish. I like the moves they appear to have made in Uruguay. As they throw ahead to Sedes, Sedes lays it up for two. Timeout coming from Panama, but we'll get it back once again with the switch. Remember Romero playing with three fouls. Ranger goes past him, glides in, and gets the friendly touch. And another 20. Rodriguez has the step, can't finish the inside hand, but the follow for Lindo is good. Despite the fact Uruguay, and now I've got Fittipaldo and Granger on the bench. Rodriguez with a beautiful little shovel pass. Pablo Gomez off the mark. First score for him. Here comes the double, taken away. Numbers four on one. Uruguay lay it up easily. Mm. Ball sticks though. Advantage is lost. And we've just got to create it again. Gets Lindo the open shot. And it's a poor foul from a 20 point margin that they have to overcome as well. Filipaldo is in, goes off the glass and scores. Well, that's summed up the game really, hasn't it? Just great execution. Colomi Rodriguez and Ubal. This get to this near side. Ducasse for three, gets the friendly roll. Rodriguez controlling things. Uses that high screen. His skip pass, Lindo. Responds, three of his own. To never pull into that high post. And it's caused them some problems. Yeah, still recovered by Atencio, and he will 
and lay it up eventually for the two points. And Bao, again trying to use that screen, he's got a man on the baseline, decides to go on his own, frustrated, slaps the uh, this padding on the basket. And a timeout coming because four of the five, just one change. Martin Rojas in. As he tries to make something happen. Carter moves it on. Lindo back to Carter. There's two, two on two action. Eventually Lindo takes the tough three and makes it. Kick out deflected. Eventually picked up by Gut. And then the finish doesn't go for Uruguay to the groan of the crowd. Here comes Rodriguez. A little stop and go from him. Gets to the paint, finishes it off, and loses Rodrigo as well. Finds Rojas. Look at that ball movement from Uruguay. Perfect team play. 20 point margin restored. Here is Rodriguez off the screen. Has to take a tough jump shot, makes it. It's given us a three. Looked like he had a foot on the line. Number 13 for Panama. Ranger, a lot of room, curling, gives it to Rojas, and he lays up the reverse. From uh, Gut, and it is Gaskins, trying to get a three for himself, misses. Goes out to Rivas, his shot also off target, but more work on the offensive glass for Panama. Score will not count, it'll be a foul on the floor. And two team fouls means two shots to come. So 22 for Granger, 22 for Fittipaldo. Eight assists for Fittipaldo, six for Granger as well. Bring up that 100-point mark about in transition here. Moves the pass to the far side, and the foul is called. Gaskins stops, fires. The three bounces once and bounces clear. So the game will end here. It is a Uruguay victory to start off their campaign.